First of all, I guess one of the few regrets I have from my involvement in oil and gas, and I've got many, many positives, is the complete failure of the rest of the country, and in many cases um, Whitehall, and in, in some places in Scotland, to realise just what a major impact it's had. I mean, right now it's £40 billion per annum to our balance of payments. Um, I think for as far back as you can remember, in terms of contribution to UK industrial activity, oil and gas has been, every year, has been way ahead of any other industry. So it's had a massive impact, 400,000 jobs, um, staggering figures. We've produced 41 billion barrels. If you look ahead, um, we could still produce another 25 billion barrels, 25 billion barrels, 25 billion barrels, 25 billion barrels. Now, at $100 a barrel, that's $2,500 billion. I mean, the figures are staggering. If we don't get it right, we'll produce about half that. And that's staggering. We could lose $1,250 billion of economic contribution to the UK. So the figures are huge. So what does that say? It says there's still a massive amount of contribution to come, huge prospects. And secondly, it says we really have to have government UK government focused on maximising recovery, in fact, focused on maximising what's still to come from the North Sea. So that's the key factor, is them recognising, and actually they are beginning to recognise that. There's been a step change in the last, I guess, year or so, and in a number of ways there's now more focus on trying to understand how do we get the industry to invest in the next five to ten years, because if we don't invest then we'll lose the infrastructure.